Hi guys, welcome back to PS Desire. My name is Ishwar. In this video, I will show you how to create a fake window reflection photo effect in Photoshop. It is super easy. We can create this effect easily using layer blendings. But the main question is how we can make it look realistic. Well, for that, we will create adjustments like hue and saturation, levels and curves. I will also show you how to prepare any photo that we can use as a fake window reflection. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Here is the photo I'm going to use for this tutorial. You can use any kind of photo your wish, but I recommend using this effect only on indoor photos. Okay. First of all, let's duplicate the background layer, control or command plus J. Then right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. We must now focus on fine tune the highlights, shadows and lighting which complement the illusion of a window that brings out the outside world within. So for that go to filter, camera raw filter, in the right side panel go to basic settings. Here we will begin by addressing the highlights. Make sure that they are neither overexposed nor too subdued. I will keep it at 11. I'm going to lower the shadows by minus 22, whites by minus 31 and blacks by plus 20. I will reduce the overall brightness of the image by half a stop, decrease the exposure value by 0 0.50 and increase the contrast by 24. I will adjust the color temperature and tint to simulate a natural and immersive indoor environment settings. Let's lower the vibrance a little by minus 12 and saturation by plus 12 to enhance the overall appeal of the image. Now close the basic settings and move on to curve toning. Here we are going to change the lighting adjustment settings to get the desired mood and atmosphere. In an indoor environment, the lighting conditions play a significant influence and role in the ambience. So let's increase the highlights by plus 33. Lower the lights a little by minus 8. Let me lower the dogs by minus 21. Lowering the dogs will create depth and dimensions within the image. And finally, I want to increase the shadows a little bit. Plus 16 looks good. Now close the curves and move on to the next settings. Open the effects tab. I want to add a textured grainy look. Grain can be used creatively to enhance the aesthetics of an image or to replicate the nostalgic feel, giving the image a classic and vintage appearance. Let's add a grain of 50 and lower the vignetting slider to minus 41 to darken the edges of the image. By darkening the edges, vignetting can draw the viewer's attention towards the center of the frame. Now close this effects tab and scroll down to calibration panel. Let's change the hue and saturation of the red primary to refine the overall color rendition. This adjustment can be useful for fine tuning the overall color richness or selectively en <coughs> enhancing or toning down specific colors. Let's adjust the blue primary as well. Move the hue slider to plus 23. It looks good. And then adjust the saturation to plus 28. Okay. All right. Now click on the OK button to apply the changes. Now let's proceed to step two. Here is the image which I'm going to use for the window reflection. I have already prepared it for this tutorial. Now I will show you how to prepare a photo for the window effect using different photo. For the window photo, I suggest you to use outdoor photos. For main subject, use the indoor photos and for the window reflection photos, use outdoor photos and keep that in mind. So here is the sample photo and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. Then go to filter menu, select blur and choose Gaussian blur. Don't overdo it. 
just apply a small amount of blur like this it's enough click ok now lower the opacity of the layer just a little bit 98% should be ok and save the photo as .png now your window photo is ready you can use this photo to create a fake window reflection effect next drag and drop the window reflection photo onto the working document press ctrl or command plus t to scale it according to your preference now let's determine the best blending mode for this effect obviously screen is the right choice so change the layer blending mode to screen now let's rename the top layer to reflection and the bottom layer to model take a look at the effect it looks too bright and we need to fine tune it to achieve a balanced and natural look bringing out the desired details in the scene the first adjustment i will add is a hue saturation layer before we making any adjustments click on the small icon to clip the adjustment to the reflection layer below by creating a clipping mask with the adjustment layer you can limit the effect of the adjustment to only the layer directly below it okay now move the hue slider to the negative side minus 23 it will add some greens now lower the saturation to minus 70 to achieve that washed out look let's increase the lightness to plus 6 okay now let's add a levels adjustment and create a clipping mask move the left sider black point to the right this will make the darkest pixels in the image pure black now adjust the midtone slider by moving it to the right to the to make it brighter fine tune the blacks and whites as well like this okay nice this looks good to me so far so good let me group all these layers now select all the layers right click and choose group from layers give this group a name maybe effect now for the final step let's enhance the overall composition or appeal of the image add a levels adjustment layer and adjust the midtones by moving the middle slider the gray point to the right to adjust the overall brightness of the image next add a curves adjustment create a slight s-shape curve to add a little bit of contrast create a shape like this okay now let's group these adjustment layers as well select both adjustment layers right click and select group from layers give this group the name adjustments all right now all the layers are non-destructive so you can change any settings or adjustments anytime to your liking and that's it here is the before and after effect I hope you like this tutorial. Try applying this effect to your photos and you will love it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Photoshop tips, tricks and techniques. Hit the bell to receive notifications from this channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon and also click on join button to become a channel member for direct downloads like PSD files, actions, brushes and much more. That's it. See you guys in my next video. Take care. Happy editing.